sure. Why are you walking around so sad? I'm not sad, just bored. Bored? Bored's good. Bored means you ain't scared. Be grateful for being bored, lady. Soon enough, you're gonna be scared. When I was a little girl, I guess I hoped for... I don't know. I used to dream a lot. We all dream a lot. Then we go into women. Herr Morgan! Herr Morgan! Mr. Strauss? You busy, my friend? Why? I'll cut you in. Loan it. Already? You know how it is. People is happy to borrow off someone like me, but more enthusiastic paying back to someone like you. Of course. Who are they? Hmm, let me see. A Chick Matthews works at Guthrie Farm. He's a hand, I believe. Mr. Robel, the small holder at Painted Sky, runs the operations there, badly. Miss Lily Millet is a ranch maid up at Emerald Ranch. And here was me believing Dutch's bluster about us helping folk. It's legal work, Mr. Morgan. Debtors belong in prison. We are doing them a favor. Ah, I'll make sure they see it in them terms. Put the debts in the deed box and try not to kill them. It's very bad for business. I just miss him so much. Of course you do. Goes without saying. Well, what am I gonna do? You're gonna suffer. <laughs> and life's gonna go on. That's the truth of it. I won't lie to you. Gonna go. Stay here with us. Oh, they ain't so bad. It's nasty out there on your own. Hello. Hi, Mr. Morgan. Uh, hello. Ah, Miss Morgan. You seem chipper. But where there's life, there's hope, my friend. And? We've been thinking about our problem all wrong. All wrong. That's all. Meaning? All in good time, my friend. All in good time. <laughs> Always the show, man. You okay, boy?
snub. Miss Millet, the ranch maid. You know where I can find her? I don't know. Uh, Lily Millet. Where can I find her? Ah. Uh. Lily Millet, you know where she is? All right, it's time for you to go now. Okay, then. See you around. Who let the simpleton out of the asylum? <laughs> you feel better getting that off your chest? What's going on here? Take it easy. I ain't serious. You ain't right in the head. You know where Lily Millet is? Lily? Just over there by the store with Cooper. Why has it always got to be such a goddamn performance with you? Now, I told you I'd get you the money next week, and I'll get it. If you didn't make it this week, who's to say... Lily, where's our money? What? That loan you took. It's payday. I'm sorry. I don't have it right now. Well, then, I guess we got a big problem, don't we? Cooper, give him what you've got. I ain't giving him nothing. Except a lessening damn mercy. Son of a bitch. No, Money, leave me alone. Hey, you know what I do? What do you want? I've got nothing to say. I didn't steal that. It's a debt. Oh, damn it. Can a man have some peace? Uh. You better keep your goddamn mouth shut about this. Don't do this. Just go, damn fool. Oh. 
thought you could get away. No! Please! Come on. Fine! You. We gotta rescue a tent here! Oh, Get your belay! Let's go, boy.
Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Matthews gave me a message for you. He said when it was convenient to head into Emerald Ranch. He's looking at a few business things there. Okay. Oh, he'll find something, too. He always does. Will you be well now, Mr. Morgan? I'm always well, Miss Grimshaw. How did you get on, Herr Morgan? Got Lily Millet's debt. Made some bad decisions in her life. Good, very good. My pleasure. Uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Downs. The opinionated little do-gooder? Yeah, I know the one. I certainly know the type. Thank you, Herr Morgan. There's no need to thank me. Like you said, it's pleasure I'm after. He's more slippery than he seems. I've tried being polite. Don't take any nonsense. Nonsense? Me? If he doesn't have the money, beat him. Well, I usually do. I know. I know. In a field, someplace, a mama's were...
Oh, oh, I need medicine or a siphon. Oh, 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 come on. I'm gonna die if you don't help me. Oh, uh, the poison's all inside me. I can feel it. Oh, oh, oh help me. Here, oh, God. Drink this. Oh, 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 medicine? Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, you saved my life. I owe you. Got that right. I do. Oh, uh, now, I, I gotta get out of here. Okay. Oh, God. Don't much like it around here no more. Glad I could help. Keep your eyes on the ground, huh? Oh, Mr. Downs! Downs! Where are you? Thomas Downs! You, uh, uh, whatever do you want? <coughs> Mr. Thomas Downs? You owe me money. Uh, oh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm... We ain't a charity, Mr. Downs. We've got nothing, sir. But when we have something, it will be yours. Oh, come here, you maggot. Please, sir. I'm... I'll... Really? Threaten me, would you? Oh, please. I have a family, sir. Please. I don't care about your family.
Why'd it have to come to this, huh? Believe me, sir, I didn't want this either. If you want the money, you'll have to wait. You ain't such a do-gooder, are you? If you're running out on debts... I'm... I'm not running anywhere. I'm... I'm... I'm, do, I'm doing my best for you. If I'm here, there's a reason I'm here. If you'd been good, this wouldn't be happening. You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife, or your family, or something. We ain't your idea of charity. Is that clear? <coughs> Thomas! What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman? My husband isn't well. If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money. Ah, how did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Well, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. Good morning. Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan. Yes, Miss Grimshaw. One of the girls saw that friend of yours, Mary Gillis, sniffing about. Mary? Yes. I never liked that woman, Mr. Morgan. Funny business. Boy.
James. Uh, no doubt. Well, I do interest in very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Please. I know how to work with good people, Seamus, and I work in the right way. Well, they all say that. I never met an idiot that called himself one. Very true. In that case, I'm an idiot. But I know how to get things done efficiently. Look at me. Why would I lie about this? Hi, this is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves? To this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. OK, I'll tell you what. Arthur. Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now, you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin. By marriage, I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmen de Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. Really? Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? You're the one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Well, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter.
That must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. You've got binoculars, don't you? <sighs> Anyone around? Yes. Okay. I reckon we can do it now. I'll head over, distract him by putting on a little show while you sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? Let's wait. Okay, let's go. Sure. You go into the house. I'll go find this wagon. 